Junho the detective is just like Jason Bourne. Check out his awesome covert recon skills. He's following the van on a dark deserted road and he's like 20 yards behind him. Why don't you just turn your siren on while you're at it? And it looks like his high beams are on. Now his taillights are blacked out but headlights are still on. You're going deep cover onto a ferry to infiltrate a secret murder organization and that's all you text to your boss? How about a little detail so they can follow your trail in case you get killed? Here's Jason Bourne running directly in view of the driver's side mirror. Good thing he can't see Dick out of that mask. And now here he is hanging upside down underneath the car somehow. He must do Pilates. You know, I called BS when Robert De Niro did it on Cape Fear, but at least he was strapped in with a belt. Good thing this guard didn't see him sprinting right in front of his eyes. Okay, these masks bug me. No one has ever mentioned this before, but there's no way in hell they can see anything out of those, especially driving at night or looking at a monitor. Oh, this is supposed to be the POV from inside the mask? I don't think so. More like this. Or this. Good luck working on your computer. Doesn't seem too safe driving at night either, especially with a gas mask on top of it. It's the only thing that explains why no one sees him sneaking around. These magic scanners are also ridiculous. How exactly do they work? It's clearly optical and not an RFID reader because of the light emitting from them. What are they reading? I don't see a barcode tattooed to their necks. Here's Jason Bourne fighting this dude with at least three other workers right next to his van. The door's wide open, why didn't just yell for help? And none of the guards noticed the van moving? He must have had a sign that said, if this van's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. You bother to tuck in a shirt? Why don't you just give me a Manny Petty massage combo while you're at it? Hmm. Apparently cops in South Korea can get away with a lot more. You can just kill a suspect and dump their bodies. Hey, you! Oh, hey, it's cool, man. I was just dumping a body overboard. No big deal. You do not speak unless your superior allows you to. Go stand by in the cabin. Here's another thing that bugs me. There's no way that not a single worker has exposed this operation. First of all, they treat them like absolute shit and micromanage the hell out of them and kill them for nothing. And there's not a single disgruntled worker who spills the beans to Korean 60 Minutes. Exposing the super secret Hunger Games would be the biggest story in the whole world and yet there's not been a single whistleblower who blows the lid off this whole thing. We all know that no one can keep their mouth shut about anything. Even the threat of death isn't enough. Look at all the defectors and whistleblowers in North Korea and Russia. Apparently they don't even keep close tabs on the workers and no one cares if they disappear. It's a huge problem when the player goes missing, but when it's a soldier, no one cares about that. No big deal. I'll decide if it's no big deal. None of the workers confided to their friends and family about where they were working. And when they disappeared, no one reported them to the police. What about the people who interviewed did get the job? Did they kill them off too? And where and how did they even recruit them? Why don't they recruit any women workers? Did they put out a help wanted ad that says seeking males 20 to 50 for challenging positions? Must be good team players and comfortable living full time on an island and living in a prison cell that is monitored 24 7 and murdering people by shooting them in the heads for the enjoyment of a bunch of rich dickheads. Must be able to wear many hats and be proficient with submachine guns, driving a van at night full of unconscious people while wearing a sketchy mask that you can't see dick out of, committing mass homicide, disposing of dead bodies, and baking sugar cookies. The ideal candidate has strong customer service skills and is comfortable with getting shot in the forehead for breaking any of our arbitrary rules. Pays minimum wage with no health benefits. Please wake up and prepare for your duties. In 10 minutes, the staff head count will begin. Okay, okay, look, look, look. This is some bullshit, okay? I'm out of here, man. F*** this job. All right, for the next four weeks, f*** this job. A lot of people decided to come back. Out of 201, 187 returned. The re-entrance rate is 93%. 93% of the people came back? I don't think so. No way, man. We should just form our own team, don't you think? You're right. It wouldn't hurt to be in a group, so we're ready for anything. One hour later. They were heating sugar. <sighs> Got anything? Not yet. 
kind of a dick move. If Sang Woo was such a genius, why was he trying to kill off his teammates during only the second game when they are the only ones who got his back? Now uh, then, I'm choosing the umbrella. Hmm? You sure? Go wait. Huh? <sighs> Nothing. He could not be more suspicious. A few minutes later. Yeah, the whole team made it. <sighs> if they try to attack someone. Let's group together and fight them. Oh, now you believe in strength in numbers? <laughs> Don't join him. This guy's a damn dumbass. I don't know about the quality of control at Netflix, but there's a lot of bad translating and transcription on the show. Uh, uh, excuse me? Am I interrupting you? Oh boy. You're really good looking. <laughs> huh. You're really good looking. You're really good luck. Hey, I'm telling you, no one's safe around here with that crazy bitch running around loose. Yeah. Tell me what you're good at. Everything except the things I can't do. I don't know what happened at her first job interview. You're hired, madam. Certainly better than some skinny girl. Now you are, but what am I? You mean you're that good? How about it? Plenty of empty bits. <laughs> This is one of the least subtle shows I've ever watched. They have to spell everything out and hit you over the head with it. Okay, we get it. We're not supposed to like these thugs and crazy women. Do you have to make it so over the top? So after decades of running the Squid Games, you've never had a situation where someone needs to pee at night? I have to go like 10 times a day. Why wouldn't they put some toilets in the barracks instead of having locked access to a single bathroom that looks like it's used by men and women? I gotta go. You're a pretty annoying girl, aren't you? What a rude little brat! I know you are. But what am I? Really? That's what you decide to smuggle inside? And no one smells the smoke? I think you'd be better off smuggling in a vape pen at least. Come to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. It's time to go back. Just give me a second, okay? If you recruited some women, you wouldn't have this problem. Oh, now they're concerned about privacy when they have a bunch of dudes undress and fondle unconscious women? And it's like trying to push out a kid! Oh, I'm dying! Oh. The f*** is this crazy bitch talking about? I think we got a rat in the house. I'm not the fucking rat, okay? Huh? The mask guys had pots that they were melting a liquid down in. What'd it smell like? Sugar or something. Wouldn't she assume they're just cooking their meals? And she can smell sugar? Also, they only need to bake 187 cookies. And each one of those vats looks like they can make 500 cookies. And there's like eight vats. It's now time for you to go to sleep. Maybe you could... Write a haiku to express your feelings. The island, abductions, surveillance, and the masks. Girl, look, if you aren't telling me everything, I'll burn your eyes out with cigarettes. I dare ya! Out now. Please wait in front of your door. Is there a problem? What? I said, do we have a problem? When I was a kid, I had problems digesting it. Chocolate milk? I can't drink the normal kind. As a kid, I'm willing to bet you got spanked a lot. You know. I guess they spank My kids in too. South Korea for you being lactose like intolerant. You, right? Hey, sir. Why aren't you eating that? Have it. I don't eat most mornings. Looks like Sang Woo is on the intermittent fasting keto diet. You know, geniuses never eat much. The show makes a lot of weird generalizations. Geniuses don't eat much, old people don't sleep much. Choose one of the four available shapes you see on the wall. Does he mean those? These shapes seem pretty distinct. Hard to believe a bunch of people didn't figure it out, which would lead everyone lining up behind the triangle shape. I guess only a business major at SNU with insider information can figure it out. And in my hometown, he was a genius, a prodigy. He was first in his class at SNU Business School. Would you please 
Shut up. What about you? Daira. Huh? Daira. A circling mate? Yeah. It looks just like the moon where I'm from. Ali can speak Korean fluently, but never learn how to say circle. And I'm pretty sure it looks like the moon no matter where you're from. You pick first. Go on. Now then, I'm choosing the umbrella. Hmm? You sure? Why? That is suspicious. No, a star. Sounds great. Besides, nobody really sees many stars these days. The shape you have chosen is the shape you must remove from the honeycomb. That's when I knew that I had a problem. And I'm totally screwed, right? Yeah, you're screwed. I've never played this honeycomb game, but it doesn't seem like breaking little pieces off the edges with your hands is the way to go instead of using the needle. Hey, do you mind? I am trying to concentrate. Bye. Please. I bet you wish in life you could take a mulligan sometime. Oh really? There's guards all around and a million HD cameras everywhere but no one notices her? Or hears her flicking the lighter? 44, pass. And no one saw any of this either? Oh here's a magic scanner again. Instead of having a number 29 on his back, the scanner somehow identifies him by the shape of his hoodie. Why the hell are you IDing people based on their uniforms and masks? I can lick it. Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'll lick it anyway. crazy bitch. <laughs> I did it. Move your hands. Nothing to see here. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, please. I can't believe this doesn't happen more often. A nice shot sticking a two-inch needle in his eye. Wouldn't he have been shot immediately by the other guards? Take off your mask. This dude is about to get whacked. Turn around, okay? What does he care about taking off his mask? Or is it just to show how ruthless this organization is by whacking the guard for showing his face? I do appreciate his hands-on, leading-by-example management style. The front man is leaning in. Number 29. Stand by and await further instructions. I'll have a word with you about that confusion. Here we go again. Guards and cameras everywhere, but no one notices this. That was very sneaky of you. Are you kidding me? Sneaky. Sneaky. 